So our first national goal is that we halve the number of people in low pay by 2025, transforming the lives of two million people in our country. <laughs> our second national goal is that all working people should share fairly in the growing wealth of the country. That means as the economy grows, the wages of everyday working people grow at the same rate. Our third national goal is that by 2025, Britain becomes truly a world leader in the green economy, creating one million new jobs as we do. We're going to commit to taking all of the carbon out of electricity by 2030. We're going to have a green investment bank with powers to borrow and attract new investment. And as Caroline Flint will announce tomorrow, we will devolve power and resources to communities so we can insulate five million homes over the next 10 years. <laughs> Our fourth national goal is that by 2025, as many young people will be leaving school or college to go on to an apprenticeship as currently go to university. So our fifth national goal says that by 2025, for the first time in 50 years, this country will be building as many homes as we need, doubling the number of first-time buyers in our country. So our sixth national goal is that we create a truly world-class 21st century health and care service. And in order to pay for it, we won't borrow an extra penny or raise taxes on ordinary working families. We'll clamp down on tax avoidance, including tax <laughs> loopholes by the hedge fund to raise over a billion pounds. We will use the proceeds of a mansion tax on homes above two million pounds. And we will raise extra resources from the tobacco companies who make soaring profits on the back of ill health. 